That's how deep the car is. That's nuts. We're talking two feet deep. I mean, we're basically in a creek. Yeah, this is <laughs> crazy. It has that boxy shape and it's the right size. Damn. Okay, just by feeling the foot, it's definitely a car. Really? Windshields. I can't believe you're standing on it right now. Windshields in it. It's just in such an unusual place because it's so shallow in this in this part. They didn't tell you it was submerged? No. Even if you did get a, 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 a wench on it, you can't pull it up through here. I just felt a bang on the roof. And I know it's just the, you know, the pressure just popping back yeah, up. Yeah. But that just scared me to death. Today we are searching for Nicholas Blasetsky, who went missing from Toledo, Ohio back in 2000. Now he was 78 years old. Now he was known to have some health issues. He was dealing with Alzheimer's and potentially dementia. And like the day he went missing, he went to church and he was an hour, half hour late to church. So it was very uncharacteristic for him to do that. He was last seen by his neighbor leaving his house. The car we were looking for is a white, Buick Century, an 83 Ohio license plate NRB-8. There's a couple rivers that we're searching on the pathway near his house. So there's the Ottawa River, which is where we're all right now. We're starting out. I'm out with Exploring with Nug here. And we have the big boat today. We have both of our sonars, Hummingbird and Garmin. And we're gonna be searching this river first. And if we find anything, we're gonna dive on it and you know pull a plate, pull parts, and hopefully we can solve this case or at least clear some areas. So I got the magnet on it, and I swear, we're directly on top of it. I'll go down. I just touched the water right here. That's how deep the car is. That's nuts. We're talking two feet deep. I mean, we're basically in a creek. Yeah, this is <laughs> crazy that this thing is sitting here, like right here. It's See, look, one and a half feet deep. That's because the transducer is right over top. And the transducer is probably about a foot underwater, foot and a half. I mean, we're not 100%, but I mean, it looks, on your 360, on your live, or your live, it looks, it looks, it a looks lot. the right shape. And this bridge right over here is where he was last, where, I mean. We're actually really We're close. really close to his house, yeah. Yeah, this is like, this is where we wanted to start our search, actually, like right here, but there's a business. There's so we a didn't business now, all phase or something. Yeah, we supplies. already drove by this on the Electrical interstate. Electrical supplies. This is new, though. Remember, I, mean, I was saying because over there is the solar panels, and this was an empty lot on Google Maps. Yeah. But this is a brand new building. Yeah. So 20 years ago, this place could have been barren. Who knows? You know? I mean, there's always a chance it could be another vehicle, but it's in. There's it's a really good chance it's right a dumped vehicle. Spot, <laughs> and it's a boxier shit, like like a. All right, a, so Bu a Buick. Yeah, what are we looking for? Buick Century? Century, What yeah. year? An 83 Buick Century. Man, 83. Buick Century. That's a, that's a boxy car. Yeah. I mean, it could. I couldn't tell from the pictures. It could be, it could not be. It's also a little tricky because it's so shallow. I mean, that's, is that it right there? No, let me back Let's up. Let's try to get a. a well, you. Uh, oh, you took the magnet off? Yeah. And the, the magnet stuck, so I mean, it's metal. It grabbed on, and like, it grabbed on hard. So I think I was putting it right on the, the hood. The hood or the roof. It's not a good shot yet. You can tell how, you know, rectangle it is. It has that boxy shape, and it's the right size. Yeah. Now, this is live scope, so like, what you're seeing is real time. So, when we were talking five feet, every five feet are those little blocks. Right. We're trying to figure out too if it's upside down or not. I don't think it's upside down because that looks like the roof, windshield, hood. This looks like the rear end. You can't see I the mean, it, glass, but so see it, with five, a side ten, view mirror. Ten, a little over ten feet. I mean, that's the right yeah, size. Yeah, this is definitely. This is like twenty. Yeah. It's. I'm pretty confident it's a vehicle. It's like Whether a ten. It's ours or not? That's questionable, but it's definitely a car. You you're gonna dive on it real quick. Yeah, not this will be easy. All I gotta do is swim out here and find it, dive, yeah. and then just like crawl around on the roof. It'd be really easy to find the tag on this. All right, so I got my magnet. I'm gonna stick on this, which is only like two feet down. All right, I'm on. I'm on it. Sure. I'm stuck on something. All right, so Jeremy's putting on his dry suit. We just realized, though, we kind of made a mistake. I guess we weren't really prepared because we were actually going to take the other boat and so we were moving gear around we don't have a face mask <laughs> on the boat right now um this is a new so one so it's not like you can't dot we, we wouldn't be able to see anyways we have everything else you still you know you breathe at your breathe through your regulator 
Yeah, I might just get some water up my nose, I guess. I would say don't do this, but the fact that it's like two feet underwater, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, you still have your breathing, it's just like you can't see. Yeah, you couldn't see and the car is two feet. It's just right there. So all I gotta do is just reach around, see if I can find a tag. Hopefully the tag isn't brittle. Or rip, rip the grill off, it looks like the front's more exposed. It's gonna be a challenge. I think the grill is that way. So once I find whatever it is, I'll be able to tell if it's a car without even going underwater. Yeah, just by just standing on, on it, I can just feel around. So. You know, like the windows, you know, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're dealing with that, but I guess we'll find out if we have to go back or not. Worst case, we can always come back tomorrow and nah, just nah. park like right here. Nah, nah. It's a possibility. That's all I'm saying. Jeremy, don't do reruns. <laughs> Can't wait to hear the comments. I'm sure all the, the professional scuba divers are probably shaking gonna, their heads. They're gonna rip us apart. We'll probably I'll probably be on like other people's channels going what not to do. <laughs> but don't ever dive without a mask. The whole thing is what six, seven feet? Leave that. I'm not going so, to the very bottom. I'm just going to the front of the there's car. There's not much hazard. Nah. Really. So we're good. Yeah, just good. to let y'all know, in case you see him without a mask and you're wondering why. Like, what is going on there? We are professionals and safety is a priority. Such a weird thing. But this is, we can't pass this diving this up or checking out. I mean, in worst case, if he didn't want to dive, I'd get in and just feel around my feet because it's so shallow, but I think we'll yeah. be fine. All right, you got 2,500. All I need is, it should be good. Ooh. All right, so what's your plan here? <laughs> well, I forgot my mask, long story short. So uh, I'm going to dive this car closing my eyes. <laughs> and I don't recommend this, but luckily the car is literally two feet underwater. So I'm hoping I can just go out there and like stand on the car and then just kind of, you know, just go for it and look around. And uh, I mean, honestly, I could walk to the back, stand on the trunk, yeah, and then just kind of go down and find the tag. Hopefully, you know, it's it's there. Maybe I'll go to the front, see if I can get a, a grill off it or something, and then come back and stand up, and show you what we're working with. Sounds good. I mean, if it's a Buick grill, then we definitely got to go up to the back and see if it's yeah. the tag that we're looking for in. B R N R B something like that. Something like that, but if it's a Buick, it's got to be our guy. It's a very small tag. It's like a small number. But okay, here I go. You got the rope? I do. Okay. So I guess I'll run right into it, huh? Probably. Hit that pipe first. Uh... Standing on it. Standing on something, I don't know if it's the roof or if it's one of the... Which way is it facing, like this? I thought it was facing us, kind of, at an angle. It's like this? I think so. Slide my... Okay, just by feeling the foot, it's definitely a car. Really? Yeah, I can feel the door jams. Really? 100%. Oh, man. It's, you know, it's flexible. Yeah. 20 years, though. I'm surprised this thing would be wore completely out. The fact hey. that it's a car is promising. I mean, you're really close, closer than okay, I. So the, I'm on a windshield. Let's see, passenger side is right here. Windshields. I can't believe you're standing on it right now. Windshields in it. Does it feel really wide? I'm just on one side, but let me go. I'm just gonna crawl along the side here and check the windows. Okay. Passenger side is up. So how is it? So you said the passenger side is up. All the driver's side windows are up. Really? And I don't feel the t a pipe. I'm all over the roof. You don't feel a pipe? It. So it I might don't know be a little. Seeing. Let's see if you can get to the tag. Dude, I think this is him. What do you think? All the windows are up. I'm having a minor heart attack. I know, I just had adrenaline dump. I just felt a bang on the roof. 
And I know it's just the, you know, the pressure and it's popping back yeah, up. Yeah. But that just scared me to death. But yeah, all the windows are up. Which way you want me to the grill or try to feel a tag? I try to go for the tag. It's not our car. It's not? It's a hatchback. Ohio tag EMH8204, expired 2015, hatchback. We we'll probably look up the tag and figure out what it is. Yeah. But all the windows are up. So that well, is a... Yeah, let's do a search real quick because it might be someone else. And this one, you know, we might still be able to get this one out because I'm sure they don't want it right by, by a pipe too they have. No. But... So disappointing. You're gonna uh, try to pull a, a part off of it? I'm gonna check the windows again just because I want to make sure. What do you think it is? Well, I'm, I'm standing on the hood as we speak. Uh, I think it's a Dodge Nitro uh, or some kind of Dodge hatchback or SUV. Yeah. Uh, the bumper doesn't have a grill, it's like everything's built onto that bumper. Oh. And right in the dead center, I'm feeling it. I swear I'm feeling a ram. So, but we got the tag, we'll figure it out really quick. All the windows are a thousand percent up though. Can you rip off a mirror? Yeah. Hey, look at that. Hey. I think it's another one of those. It's not the color of the car, but it still have serial numbers on it somewhere. On the yeah. inside or something. Yeah, we'll figure out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll just crawl up on the bed. All kidding aside, you get in here. We need to figure out the story behind this car because all the windows up is a huge red flag. Yeah. Somebody's in there. So and there's nothing popping up. Which no. It's kind of weird. So I think what we should do go back to the car, load up, and come all the way here. Yeah. And then call him and tell them what we found. We know exactly where, where that pump is at. You want to leave the, my buoy or the, well? I, it's, I mean, literally, yeah. look from, I'm standing on the roof. There's no way, gotcha, yeah. you know, to get lost. Right here, you can get a pretty good image of the vehicle. You can see that it's more of a hatchback. Yeah, it looks like the back window, it looks like it's, yeah, you can almost see the window here. You can see the side windows, man. It's like a full regular window and then the back small window. That down imaging looks pretty good on this time. On that pass. Uh, what did you think somebody said it was? Uh, Dodge Magnum. Dodge Magnum. That's, that's, so, the, that's the rolling guess right now. So when we get back, we'll report it to the police as we always do. Right now we're going as far down as we can. It is like, I mean, we are pushing the limit here. Oh, actually Dodge Magnums are those long station wagon cars. You know what I'm talking about? That Dodge really? has? Yeah. Gonna... I don't know my car is that well, but huh? So maybe it's a two door, and then the windows on the back. So the both windows are up, but the back ones don't go down. So that makes more sense why all of them are up. Yeah. Well, we're going all the way down here. Uh, we're not gonna make it probably too much farther. If we can get to that bridge and clear it, we can pretty much clear this whole the Ottawa River here, and then we're on to the next river, which is the I believe Mima or Ma Mommy. Mommy River. Mommy River. They got some one of the interesting two. names, but that's the bigger river farther down, and uh, that it's looking more likely the possibility here. But we're clear this first, and then go from there. All right, so we are back the next day at the location. The car is right here where we are, right behind us. I don't know if you can see, but uh, we were kind of ran out of daylight. We had a little issues with the boat, but right now we're about to give the police a call and have them come out. I think we're gonna have to pull this thing. We'll see what they have to say. Um, I was calling to see if I could possibly get a officer out to my location. We found a vehicle underwater and uh, we dove on it and pulled the license plate off. They are going to be getting dispatched out there shortly, okay? Okay, sounds good, thank you. We were, we we're in a search and rescue team. Okay. We found a car literally right here and uh, the police are supposed to come out here to meet us right now and we're just going to show them exactly where it's at and let oh. them know what they wanted to do about yeah. it. Totally fine, we just have security cameras and whatnot and so 
like we have a lot of people that will just perk here yeah and then do like bad things bad things <laughs> so pretty much i i saw you guys leave when i went to get everybody lunch came back you guys are still here and i was like all right it's been a hot minute i should probably make sure that I don't have to call the police for a whole different reason. No. no. no <laughs> They're supposed to be coming, but yeah. it's trying to be out of your hair pretty quick. You guys are completely fine. As long as, like I said, as long as you guys ain't doing bad stuff. No, I don't Okay, know. I appreciate it. <laughs> and now I won't have to come out and see why I have the police at my building there you go. today. So, <laughs> thanks guys. Thank you. <laughs> Famous. Famous. Instantly a celebrity. No. How's it going? I found a car. Okay, you see that piece of trash there on the corner on the other side? Right. Yeah, there's like a, just a, it looks like a piece of wood from here. Okay. Right on the water edge. Directly out into the middle of the water, there's a Dodge Magnum sitting right there. 2007. It's literally a foot and a half underwater. Okay. But the water itself is about six feet deep. Yeah. How did we get a plate from that? Uh, I dove it. And uh, pull the tag off. Uh, we got that over here. If you want to look at that, yeah, run that. Look at it. I've never come across something like this. So <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do full time. We travel around trying to solve missing person cases, but we end up finding really? we end up finding hundreds of just stolen dump cars most of the time. But that's okay. the plate. That's the mirror we ripped off. It's just in such an unusual place because it's so shallow in this in this part. Like I'm surprised. Okay. Couldn't see the roof. You guys go around the country and you guys just go diving and yeah we have like son sonar on our boat so you can like see kind of the shapes underwater uh -huh. and then we hook it with a big magnet then we'll scuba dive down and uh sometimes solve cases sometimes just clean up the waterways yeah all right all right i'll get back to you guys okay, okay. Uh, land do you think it is is it like it's right in the, right in the middle, in the it's yeah, right middle, middle pretty it's much right yeah okay. We just took our boat down with our sonar and found it. You just ran, yeah, ran and picked it. Yeah, I mean, we're searching, we, we do this for a living, we've traveled right. around, so. Yeah, I didn't know if people called in and been like, oh, this might be in there or something like that. We just pick random spots. Well, I mean, we, we after search, is it stolen, right? Did it come back? That's yeah. what we found online. But the windows are up, so that's kind of the only reason we're a little concerned. You got it in the doors didn't open or anything like that? Well, you dove we on it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't try to open the doors because let's just say there was a body in there. I didn't want to disturb anything. Right. So, like, we check if all the windows aren't broken. And we're like, I don't know what's in there. So, I'm yeah. Just I mean, in our. Uh, few guys, we pull it out and then pop the windows and see if there is anything in there. In our experience, is usually not when they're stolen, anybody in there. But right. I just hate there to be someone, you know. Be a minute before they can. Uh, Get somebody out there, but we'll yeah, see. we that's how it usually <laughs> it takes a while. It's worth it though. Yeah. Seeing, seeing the cars come out, like, it is pretty cool. it's always fun to watch. Where's it at? It's right there in the middle. It's about four or five feet underwater. You can stand on it, but it's right there in the middle. I think we'll have to get a rotator to get this thing out. I can't even see it. Oh, yeah, you can't see it. We had to scuba, we sco went scuba diving on it. Uh, we pulled out a... a we did, yeah. yeah. There's no fucking way the I think we'd have to get a rotator, stretch it out, and lift it up. If it's underwater, it's deeper than I am, we don't have to go swimming. I'm not trying to make you do anything. Huh? I'm not trying to make you do anything. Huh. No, I'm not trying to get you. Huh. Were you called here? Record, our records department called you? Yeah. What's your plan? Why put it was. I didn't put it was. They didn't tell you it was submerged? No. They just said it was. No way. So let me ask you, even if you even if you did get a, 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 a wench on it, you can't pull it up through here. No. Would you be able to pull it through the bucket shit over there? You could. I think you never came across this before. Uh, we pulled him out of the kitchen. We pulled him out of this river at 14 below. What do you there. think the easiest access is to it? For you, if you were gonna do this, how would you how would you pull it out? Mm. 
What is it? What is it? How, how deep? How deep down is it? Ten. Oh, oh hell no. Eight. Eight. Well, you could stand on it. The dirt. And it's like up to here. Like you can stand on the roof and it's knee high water. Like. That's how big you think it's. Like, how, how far into the mud? What kind of car is your car? I had to dig for the tag, so we'd have to dig the wheels out to get something. We'd probably through the spokes. And then they could they could wide bridle it probably and drag it out. But I mean, coming this way, you're gonna need like a giant rotator. Yeah. And we've done it a lot. That's it. If you guys need our help, I just, I think I told them, I know you have your own dive team and all that too, but we were already in there yesterday. I'm not in any position to put you in, the, in that position. Yeah. If something were to happen to you or you got hurt and me telling you to. Yeah, oh, that's why we volunteer our we time. We offer, but we hear that a, a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. be liable Yeah, for definitely. It. So, you know, that decision I would be, I, I would leave up to the tow driver. He's, he's supposed to be the professional here. I don't here think I have enough stuff to get out there. And then you got to go underwater. Usually they send the fire department to do all that. Did you guys tell if it was coming off the rear or the front of the vehicle? That was the rear. The rear. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I guess the fire department dive team isn't coming out today. I don't know why, mm -hmm. but they're just not going to recover the vehicle out of it today. So I'm just going to do a supplemental report to the original stolen report. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... Um, That'll be that. I don't know why, but yeah. will they come out at all though? Oh yeah, they'll come out I think eventually, tomorrow. but it's is not, it? It's not going to be today. What oh, if shit. that hurt? Bug just flew my eye. Uh, what if you guys left and we was to get um, a towed company out here to do it and we pulled it out? Would that be a problem? I think so because they want to help for prints. I got um, you. Not that. I don't even know. I don't. Yeah, that's in there, but they gotta. I'll throw a Hail Mary, right? See if you can get something off of it. But I think for now, the, the fire department's notified of it because they usually send out a dive team to cover the vehicle. I don't know why they're not coming out right now, but that's above me. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. But I appreciate you guys' help. You have any other questions for me? Nope, that's it. Yep. No, right. I appreciate it, man. Yep, thank you, guys. Right, have a good day. Sure. All right, so the police just left after a lot of waiting and talking to the tow truck driver. I think if they would have had a rotator right now, we may have been able to get it out and convince them, but they still want their dive team who says, I don't know if they're busy or what's going on. They're not going to pull out today. Unfortunately for us, we're not going to be here, except only today. Yeah, we got, so, we got informants working for us now. That's not good. Uh, but thankfully, shout out to All Phase Electrical Supply Company. They've been amazing to work with. I don't know if they have a Facebook page or what. Go leave them a like. Let them know that they're awesome for helping us, letting us use their parking lot. Heck yeah. And uh, they said they're going to send us some video footage of this car being pulled out. So I really hope we can get that for you guys. And uh, you probably already saw that. So hopefully you did. And that looked amazing. So we're on to uh, search the bigger river now. And uh, not a lot of day, le day left. And hopefully the boat works still. But yeah, we can. What do you think? I mean, we, it's potential. I mean, it's been a long, 20 years is a long time. Yeah. But, I mean, the rivers, we'll probably find something. <laughs> So we're going to get on to the next river and see what we can find out there. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Make sure to tune into part two where we're going next. Hopefully we find some more stuff on that video. And I really appreciate all your guys' support. I could not do these searches without your help. There's, If you want to help further, there's some more links in the description on how to do that. And I appreciate everything. Even just leaving a like, leaving a comment means a lot. Reading through all y'all's messages. I really like that. And also subscribe to Explore with Nug. <clears throat> And that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure to tune into part two coming soon. See you guys on the next one.